Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new release day here. We've got a 2023 release just recently came out from a very cool UK prog act called Rain. It is Radio Silence. There we go. And this is uh, on the Giant Electric P label. Follows up their album from, what was it, two years ago, The Singularity. That right? was their debut album, which was recorded during the beginning stages of the pandemic and all put together while they, everybody was in separate places. Well, for Radio Silence, uh, pretty sure the guys all got together and were able to record this album, like you normally do record an album. And uh, let's take a look here. Did you pack? Kind of cool colors. Reminds me of like the old uh, Angler Guard albums here with the kind of the color palette there. There are like four guys in the van. Andy Edwards says special thanks to yours truly and the guys from Sea Tranquility. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate that. Okay, and you also get a booklet with lyrics and photographs and stuff. Not a lot of lyrics, right? So, the band Rain is comprised of Andy Edwards on drums, little bits of guitars, keyboards, and programming. Of course, Andy Edwards has played with Robert Plant. Andy has played with Frost and IQ. and All these guys have crazy pedigree. Andy Edwards has appeared here on Sea of Tranquility channel quite a bit over the last couple of years. He's also got his own YouTube channel. Uh, Rob Graucut on guitars, keyboards, and vocals. you got uh, the great John Jowett on bass and vocals. John, of course, also with Jadis and IQ and Arena. And John has played with a million bands as well. And then Miron on guitars, vocals, and programming. Uh, nine new tracks on this album. So Rain are basically a modern day prog rock band comprised of veterans of the scene, but they blend in other elements into their music, which I think makes their, their songs and their material really, really interesting. Uh, there's some heavy moments, there's lighter moments, they, they embrace pop, there's some melancholy, moody stuff on here. It's a little bit to everything, it's not straight ahead 70s style prog rock by any means but there's lots of elements that draw from both classic and modern prog stuff so again like i mentioned you have nine new tracks it starts off uh with a kind of like a instrumental little interlude that starts things off jena i think that was how it's pronounced but then it goes into the great song hypnosis which is one of my favorite tracks on the album it's kind of rocking and aggressive but it's definitely got nice cool keyboards and great rhythms really 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 strong track like that a lot uh something new is a little more melly again the uh, mellow mellow melly is there such a word as melly uh, a little more mellow again embracing their their pop roots as well there nice uh vocal harmonies on that one you got the title track radio silence solid state is one of the longer tracks there's three tracks on the album that uh, exceed eight minutes solid state Really, really good song. Yeah, Bring It Back, another lengthier track. I like the way these guys kind of um, lay out the, the moods, and you have kind of like these these arrangements that kind of have the light and the shade quite a bit. So you'll get like these aggressive guitars, big riffs, and then you'll get like the more uh, ambient-style keyboard sounds, and then, you know, a little bit busier. You'll get the pop hooks. It's good. They throw a lot of things in the music, which is really cool. Uh, Never Ending Circle, another strong track. Then you got the Quick Little Winter Sun, and then the final track, which is the longest song on the album, and my, it's a, between Hypnosis or this one, Fear in the Night, is the final track, track number nine. Uh, and I like it a lot, A, because it's a good song, but B, it has a ridiculously good guitar solo on it. Um, and I'm assuming the lead guitar is from... I'm not sure who plays the lead guitar on that one. Is it, is it Mirren? Is it Rob? I'm not quite sure, but it's incredible. Smoking guitar solo there. Really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I like this a lot. This is good. Uh, like I said, I'm still digesting this. Just got this mid last week, so I've had the opportunity to spend this a bunch of times since then. And I really liked Singularity, their last album, and I think this is really strong as well. There's some different flavors going on in this album, which, again, it's good. It's it's not drastically different, but it's different enough where you can kind of hear the progression of the band's music from album to album. So uh, this will be getting a lot of uh, a lot of plays on my in my CD player coming up this year so check it out radio silence from rain 
kind of a little prog rock super group, so to speak, there. Check it out if you haven't already, and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts, and please do hit the like button before you leave. Very, very important. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this. Fine gentlemen putting together this album. All great musicians, and uh, there's lots of good stuff on here, so I'm sure you will really, really like this. And uh, and again, a bunch of memorable tracks on here as well, so you get a little bit of the pop, a little bit of the harder red stuff, you get the prog, it's all kind of blended in together. Really, really nice stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody. I am P. Pardo. See you real soon here on the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.